Welcome back to another Ski Boat Service video presented by SkiBoatPartsOnline.com Today we're going to look at the uh, Morris MV control. This control is used by virtually all ski boats. This is the cable control, not the new modern uh, electronic version. Um, this is on our American skier that's here in the shop. Uh, we're going to pull it out of the boat. Uh, this boat has a access hole in the top under the armrest which has been removed. Uh, for service. On this boat you can pull the trim off the bottom, loosen the three uh, bolts that hold the control in and it will drop right out. You can service it right there on your knee and in the boat and uh, have no problem but for this video we're going to pull the throttle all the way out, put it on the service bench on a vise and show you how these work and how we're going to service the throttle control. Okay, I've got the original throttle back on a vise. I've got the original cables reinstalled and I'm going to show you the operation uh, as it came out of the boat. Uh, this one has some problems. Um, the lower cable is operating the throttle. The upper cable is the transmission. The throttle cable connects to a spring-loaded slider. Uh, I'll call it a preloader at times. And it should only be operating uh, the slide portion going in and out of gear. Uh, this is what allows you to put the transmission fully into gear before throttle is applied. Uh, now we're coming back out of reverse into neutral and back into forward. And what this boat has is a very stiff worn throttle cable. Uh, right now we've got full transmission in gear and we've got uh, near full throttle and what you're going to see here is as I maneuver, maneuver back and forth the slider is sliding back and forth with the cable and it should not be at this point. Uh, when we get the new system set up in there uh, you'll see how it's supposed to work but this is very wrong and is going to create uh, all kinds of issues for the driver. Uh, not a good uh, setup. Okay now we have a close-up uh, overhead view of the cables with well, the cotter pins are removed that were in there but you're going to see a lot of slop in the throttle barrel and or pivot it's also called a barrel or pivot uh, this one is worn halfway through when it snaps hopefully you're not at full throttle this is why they need to be inspected and replaced when they get worn the uh, shifter barrel is not as worn but we're going to replace it anyway it's an inexpensive part This is the back side of the throttle. Make sure you clean and grease the preload spring arrangement uh, so it moves freely. Okay, now we have the throttle cleaned up, ready for the new cables. We're just going to check for smooth operation. Everything has been greased and prepped. Now bear in mind your boat may have these arms in a different location. This throttle can be configured in several different uh, configurations. But the basic operation is the same on all of them. Okay, our new premium throttle and shift cable are here. I already installed the uh, shift cable on the top, but the throttle cable uh, has an adjustment. The slide valve or slide uh, uh, cable connection point uh, needs to be adjusted. You pull that all the way back against the spring pressure, hold it with your thumb, and adjust the barrel to fit into the hole at that point when the throttle is in neutral. I've already pre-adjusted the uh, barrel on the end of the cable for this, but uh, that's where you'll adjust that barrel to uh, to make it work correctly. Uh, then I'll put the uh, cotter pin in. I'll actually bend that pin over off camera. Uh, but to uh, further understand this, uh, we're going to try to put together some really high-tech uh, video graphics here in the next scene to fully understand how the system works. Okay, I've got some pretty spiffy uh, graphics here for you, high tech. The end of the cables I've looped around in the shop floor and uh, tie wraps so you can see how they work. Uh, proper work uh, application, uh, you're going to have the shifter engaging the transmission fully before throttle ever comes into play. Uh, neutral to reverse, back to neutral, into forward, you're going to have full engagement and then as you continue to press the lever then the throttle comes into play. Um, same thing for reverse. 
you fully engage the transmission and then the throttle begins to come into play. Uh, you can study uh, these cables moving. It's kind of fascinating how Morris did this with a single lever control, but it works very well. Uh, just make sure that the throttle cable is attached to that slide fitting and is adjusted properly by threading the barrel in or out on the cable so that uh, you've got the proper preload. And uh, they, they, they'll work flawlessly for years to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready to install this back in the boat. Um, but it's a smooth running throttle now.